Hey gang, welcome back. FE review problem, math, statistics. If a box contains five blue balls and 12 red balls, what is the possibility of drawing a blue ball and a red ball on two consecutive draws without replacement? So you can draw a blue or a red, or a red and a blue, but you get one of each on two consecutive draws. What's the possibility, all right? All right. See if you can work it out. Press pause and work it out. When you come back, I'm going to show you how to do it. Ready, set, go. Okay. Are you back? All right. Here's how you do it. Okay. You can do, you got to do, you can do one of the other things. You can have a red ball, then a blue ball, or you can have a blue ball, then a red ball. So we'll do both of those. Okay. So we'll do red, then blue. And over here, we'll do blue, then red, okay? So we have the possibility of both of those things happening. So red, then blue, okay? So to get red out first, there are 12 red balls out of a total of 17. So you have 12 out of 17 chance to get that. And then you have to multiply that by, what's the chance of getting a blue ball next? Well, we don't have 17 anymore. Now we have 16. And how many blue ones do we have? Five, okay? And then over here, right? Blue, then red. If you want a blue one first, the blue one, there were only five of those, so you got a five out of 17 chance of getting that guy. And then in, in the end, you got 16 left, right? And what's the chances of drawing now? A red ball, well, there's, there's 12 of them in there, so you got a 12 out of 16 chance, okay? And then if we add those two things together, uh, we should have it, right? So on 12 divided by 17 is 0.706. And then five divided by 16 is 0.3125. Okay, plus five divided by 17, 0.294. And then 12 divided by 16 is 0.75. So 0 0.706 times 0 0.3125 plus 0 0.294 times 0 0.75 equals 0 0.44 or a 44% chance of that happening. Okay, 44%. Does that, there we go. Boom, boom. And that's how you do that, okay? Don't worry, no one likes these problems, okay? <laughs> Let's do another one.